Crafted Comedy by Grey Wolf. It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. And now, let's listen in to G Block Show. Get your daily funny fix with America's funniest curmudgeon as he has a filled day of fun with the tabloids. Oh, geez, look at here. Looky here. <laughs> yeah, looks as though Vanna has been hiding a, a child abuse whore. A whore? No. Like whore. Like scary. Not not like a, a girl that uh, turns tricks. No. Vanna White is hiding a dark family secret. For crying out loud, Vanna, turn the letter. What are you doing, hiding? You, you know, that, that's not right. That's not what you do. You you always, you're the revealer, not the hider. As anybody knows, been watching that Wheel of Fortune any length of time. Yep, she's a letter turner, all right. And her half-sister, Ingrid, wow. Let me just stop right here and say, if you're going to have two kids, you're going to name, you know, you got two girls, you're not going to name one Vanna and the other one Ingrid unless you want problems right off the bat. It's like, it's just so, it's so wrong. You just don't name one of your girl kids uh, a, a nice, attractive name, and then, then name the other one an awful, ugly name, and they expect everything to go okay, you know? Like, you're not going to name, like, 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 tell us a little more about that. Give us an example. Well, Vanna and Ingrid, right there, awful. Look, Vanna is a beautiful name. Ingrid, awful. For example, uh, let's just say uh, Lisa is a reasonably attractive name. Uh, you name the other daughter Ethel or, or Myrna. Can't you see right there? Oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, we're going to go out on a double date here, and I'm going to go with Lisa. Yeah, my friend, as soon as he hears the name Myrna, he's gone like a shot. But if I said her sister, Lori, for example, nothing real hot about it, but, you know, normal name. But then no problem. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, you know, when they're growing up as two kids, it's always going to be that way. It's like, whoa, where, where's Vanna? But but they're never, but no one's ever going to say, where's Ingrid? And, and on top of it all, it sounds a little bit like inbred. It's like, just in it your mind immediately, it's like, oh, I'd like you to meet Ingrid. Immediately, first thought, your first thought is inbred. And then you're like, oh, hi, hi Ingrid. Try to be nice, try to be polite even though you're, you you hate to even say the word. So anyway, so then you can expect problems, just what I'm saying here. Apparently that's happened. While well, Vanna has had this wonderful life, turning letters, revealing letters. That's really what she is. She's a letter revealer. She's like the only one on the planet. She's been doing it forever. In front of a, a nation that waits and can't, I mean, watches and waits and can't wait to see her turn what the heck the letter is going to be. I mean, what a job, what a life. And she gets paid plenty for for it. The lady just standing there turning this big cube flipping it. I mean my god. Everybody should be so fortunate and as a parent I mean you'd be like, I don't know how proud you'd be, but you're like, wow, she really lucked out. Meanwhile, what's up with Ingrid? Well, I'm going to tell you right here Ingrid apparently was watching she got here, okay she, according to, and it's a Florida arrest record, okay obtained by by the tab here, she left, allegedly, she allegedly left two younger mentally challenged children with a 12-year-old child in charge. With a 12-year-old child in charge. Now, that's something right there. I've got to ask you guys about what at what point can you, first of all, is it when you're 10 years old, do you still need a babysitter? 11? I don't know. But what, how, how old do you have to be before you legally don't need a, don't need a babysitter? And it, isn't it right on the hills of that that all of a sudden now you can be a babysitter? It's like you go for one day like you need to be babysat, then the next day you can babysit. Which well, seems to be right about 12. 11 years old, it's like, oh, you need a babysitter. 12 years old, it's like, hey, can you come babysit? It's like this major promotion. There isn't that, you know what I mean? It doesn't seem like, yeah, I know what you mean, it doesn't seem like there's this period of time where you're neither cut out to be a babysitter nor you need a babysitter. It's like you just, you'd think there'd be like a couple years where it's like, okay, you don't need a babysitter, but you can't babysit. Yeah, exactly. But it doesn't seem like that. I mean, with girls, right? These girls never want the boy around. No, sir. 
get that boy. Just babysit him and get him the hell out of the house on a bike. He's not going to be a babysitter. Well, that's a girl thing because we're in a society now that's completely not sexist, right? <laughs> yeah, if you believe that, I've got a lot of swampland that you're going to love to build on in Florida. Okay, so it's a bunch of crap. Let's just say it. It is what it is. We all like to go around thinking that we got equality. Meanwhile, you know, you, I mean, think about it. You would get quality my foot. Okay, you go to Hooters. I had a, I had a, a, a nephew try this. He, you know, a male, and he went there to sign up to try to be a waitress, to try to be a, you know, a wait staff there. And it's like, well, well, you don't have any, you know, you're not a woman, you don't have any boobs. Let's just say it. And they were like, no, you know, we we can't hire you. And it's like, well, what the heck? What about my? What about equal rights? What about equal rights? Well, though, equal rights only apply to women these days, it seems, because they got it all. I mean, they got the Hooters. They just got it made. And, of course, they, they're just it's built in that they can babysit and the clean house. So you never have see it. You know, it's always the merry maids and stuff. Never, you know, men need not apply. And there's equal rights. And there's equal, and there's equal blah, 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 blah. In this equality phase that we're, we're now in. Yeah, and say nothing of this commercials. Yeah, what commercials? Well, you know, these commercials, you know, there's always, they make fun of the man. They, you know, they always, this has been going on for like, you know, 30, 40 years. It's like the man is always the butt of the joke in the commercials. Like um, the man will say something like, oh, I must have been a mistake. And the, and the wife will turn and look at him like, well, of course you are. You're, you're an idiot. It's like, you know, that sort of thing. And so it's always the man is the idiot. He's the buffoon. But yet women are always saying how they're the ones who are on the defense, you know. So doesn't really seem so, really. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, men have been the butt of the, every joke forever, and they just got to take it because, well, they're men, and they, they can't be unfair to women. And so unfair means they just put up with a bunch of being put down and stuff. That, okay, so anyways, back to this. Apparently, Vanna's sister, Ingrid, allegedly left two younger mentally challenged children. Now, these aren't your average children. Now, these are mentally challenged. Don't know what that means. I don't think it means like they're, you know, mentally retarded or anything. I just think it means they were challenged mentally, which I, I don't know. I've got to say, I think we all are, almost all of us, who, who use our brains at all. We try to really think, which more and more is getting to be less and less. I think we're challenged these days. But nevertheless... This 12-year-old child was in charge, and this was leading to an argument. This led to an argument where one child stabbed the other with a steak knife. Maybe they were just a bad one. Maybe they were eating steak, which can tend to make you bring out the animal in, in you anyway. It's like, rawr, 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 you know. You know, yes, you're kind of cut into the animal flesh. It's like, rawr, you kind of, it probably brings you back a little bit to your more barbaric. What is that, that part of the brain they could call it? Uh, yeah, you're talking about the reptilian. Yeah, that's right, the reptilian part of the brain. So he's cut in the steak with a, they've gotten their reptilian part of the brain just on, just overactive at this point. And one of them probably said something like, you got the cooties. I mean, at that age, right? And the other one probably said, the, the heck I do, and went, probably gave the other one, you know, a little stabbed him with a knife. But it says here, Ingrid failed to get medical treatment, and the report said, now, now, what do we know? Do we know, did the child just really do a gushing, plunging stab into the other kid? Or was it more like, hey, back off, and a little, like a little poke? Well, obviously, it couldn't have been too bad, because the one kid would have died, would have bled to death. The prosecutors are not charging Ingrid. But, here's the point, it led to her three children being torn apart. It led to her three sons being torn apart and placed with strangers in the state foster care system. So, I mean... You know, why on earth have you not told us about this, Vanna? Why have you been keeping this a secret from us? Is it because you know darn good and well that because you are the, your name is Vanna, that you already had privilege to begin with? Because you know, you know as well as your own name that had it been Ingrid, you would have never, ever gotten the job on the wheel, your life would have been totally different. It would have been an awful life like your sisters had. Is that why you didn't want to tell? Is that why you've been keeping it hidden from us? I bet so. 
I bet so. Some people out there, if you're listening to this, I don't care what age you are. If you got kids, be careful what you name them. If you're going to name one Ingrid, name the other one Ethel. At least keep it balanced. If you want to name one Vanna, name the other one something like Lisa or... Or something like that, you know, a nice name. Keep it, just don't give one child a beautiful name, like like Surrey, for example, and then give the other one a, an awful name. Because this is the kind of stuff that will happen. And then the child with the nice name will not want to tell everybody what happens with that other sibling with the awful name. It's just not, it's just, it, it's just what happens. You've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show. And we hope you're telling your friends about the G Block Show. If you have feedback or suggestions or would like to be a G Block Show sponsor, please contact us at gblockshow.com. Hey, yo, for the price of a fancy store-bought card, I will make you an online video card. You know, an invitation, greeting, birthday wish, get well, congratulations, anything, and perhaps more than what you'd buy a traditional boring card for. I can make it for you. It's great because it's online and it can be shared or sent to anyone and everyone. No postage needed. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll agree that I'm way more entertaining and lovable than any paper card. And not to mention I'm a celebrity. Oh, well, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to www.gblockshow.com. And that's all one word, G Block Show, and then, of course, a little dot com. I'm very salty, and I can't wait to hear from you. Well, I can, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs>